I haven't been to the beach in over two years. But today is the day. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thank you. How are you feeling today with your hangover? <laughs> oh, the Seattle made my coffee. So nice now. Like I know it's boiling and I'm about to go to the beach, but I, I must have coffee in the morning. Like it's the, the morning is not complete without it. I'm talking so much here, we need to we need to go. Also for breakfast today I decided that I'm getting myself a donut because just like I can. Yeah. It's not bad. So maybe just a little bit of context here as to why I haven't been to the beach in over two years. For one, it's been COVID-19 for the last while and so it's been difficult to go outside and do things. And for a while the beaches in South Africa were closed so you couldn't really go outside pretty much. But aside the COVID-19 situation, for me as a trans person, beaches and pools and being like half nakedish is a thing. Like I can't tell you how often I have been stared at, even approached, and people like have said really horrible things to me for wearing bikinis, for being at beaches, for being swimming in pools. Being a trans person and just trying to, I guess, exist and enjoy a swim suddenly becomes a mission. Effectively, you're opening yourself up to the possibility or high probability of being discriminated against in some kind of way. How nice is the view from here? Like, I don't know if you can see, like, the sweat dripping from my brow. <laughs> it's not as toasty as it was yesterday, though. Yesterday was, whoo, all kinds of toasty in that Femmes and Them event. Okay, that's really, really bright. Um, okay, so the beach that we are on is a kind of nude beach. So in, the, in a way to, I guess, kind of protect people's privacy in a kind of way. We're not going to spend too much time filming here. But other than to say, it is a hella beautiful day in Cape Town. Whew, okay, today was a hella beautiful day it's the wind is starting to pick up now so Zane and I are bailing from the beach to try and get something to eat I mean I've always enjoyed swimming and the water and it's a happy place for me but being trans and trying to access spaces and be comfortable in those spaces is sometimes really really difficult and it's taken me quite a while to get to the space where I am right now I remember first coming out and not wanting to have my body looked at because I was so profoundly uncomfortable by the way that people would stare at me and look at me. That still happens though. But where I am right now, I think I've learned to protect my well-being in such a way that what people think matters less than it did before, I think. And obviously over time learning to choose spaces that kind of affirm you rather than putting yourself in vulnerable positions where you know you're at the mercy of being potentially compromised. I mean it's weird because sometimes I look at my sister and the friends and I'm like you have it so easy like this is something that you don't really have to think about and I think for a lot of trans people it's a it's a, it's a huge difficulty. So this vlog is not as cinematic as the other content on this channel is and I think maybe that's a good thing. I kind of touched on this in an earlier video. Sometimes when you're walking around with this camera and you're wanting to film stuff, you need to be conscious of the spaces that you are filming in. And sometimes it's not a good idea. And today was a prime example of that. You know, like I wanted to like have a lot of fun, which I did, but I just couldn't show you. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
as always, if you've been enjoying this content, please remember to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications to stay in the loop for upcoming videos. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. Ciao.